Ah, the glamour. Welcome to Backstage at the Radio 1 Teen Awards. I'm here in a toilet. Very showbiz toilet, though. I'm going to be inviting some guests from the show down to answer questions from this, the Radio 1 Tombola. It's an archive of every question ever asked by a Radio 1 DJ to any guest who's ever been on Radio 1, including the guest's original answer, which I definitely haven't just made up myself. So, let's see how the stars get on. One Direction, hello. Hello, I'm right there. Hi. Did you ever dream when your journey began that you'd be here backstage at Wembley in the toilets for the Teen Awards? You dreamed about it every day. This is the peak, right? I've been stuck here for hours. Just, Are you is, right down there, Liam? Yeah, can you at least show us a hand? That this, is this, genuinely Liam's hand there. This is the pit. So as you can see there, we've got the majestic Radio 1 Tombola of every question ever asked to anyone by any DJ. Niall, mm -hmm. give it a spin, dip in, pull I'm out a scared. question and we'll see how it goes. Dip in. Give you a wick. These are always very scored. I always want to cut a Thank you very much. Question one. Stop talking about wicks and dipping. Um, when did you last accidentally offend someone? That was asked by Jamila Jamil to one oh. show presenter Matt Baker. Liam wants this one. Go for it, Zane. Give him the mic. I did that yesterday. Because I didn't realise what date was on X Factor. And one of the contestants walked past me and they'd just gone out of the show and I didn't realise. And I was like, man, just enjoy it. Because I thought he looked a bit sad, but he'd just been thrown out. So yeah. I probably offended him. You'll have a great time. It's the best experience of your life. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry. That's better than Matt Baker. Matt Baker said that he accidentally upset his co-presenter Alex Jones by asking her to stop doing that silly voice all the time. She took it very badly. Wow. Niall, another question, please. Yes, sir. Thanks very much. It's a lovely spinning action you've got. Thank you very much. It's almost rehearsed. Yeah, well, it's made out of it's easy. Easy. Thanks very much. Uh, question two. If you were a puppeteer, what voice would you give to your puppet? That was asked by Greg James to oh, Andy Murray. Great. Hello. A chilling. Hey. Hey, I'm James the Puppet. I went Irish and there was almost a bit of... Oh, yeah, James the Puppet. What an exciting James. name. James! Yeah. Mine would be so, like... No, he's, he's relatable. That's why it's James. It's oh, quite okay, good. It's like normal. Go yeah. on, Niall. Mine would be like one of the Sopranos. Like, hey, hey, how you doing? Come here to tell you a story. Harry, how would your puppet sound? Mine would be like... Um, it'd be like... At the end of the day. <laughs> 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 Very good. He's got a catchphrase already, and he's just a, fi uh, a figment of your imagination. Um, Zane? My puppet would probably sound. Probably a little bit like this, and probably with you to be chilling all the time. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Liam, have you got a puppet voice? Hello, I'm the little puppet man. You've both gone very high. I like that. Uh, now let's have another question from the tombola, if that's all right. Give it a big spin this time. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want you to break Safety it. regulations. Don't the tombola. Tombola. The BBC have had this piece of equipment since the 70s, tombola. so do be careful with it. Thank you very much. Can I read that one for us? Yes, I will. Uh, what is the rudest thing you've seen on the internet? And that was asked by Vernon <laughs> Kay to TV baker Mary Berry. Um, the other day someone asked me how long was my... Penis. Penis. Yeah. And what was the answer? That wasn't on the internet, though, was it? I said, are you for real? Yeah. <laughs> but actually, what is the answer? Yeah. Matt, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it was me! <laughs> it's like one of them. It's like one and a half of them. Yeah. Um, rudest thing you've seen on the internet, Harry? I have no idea. Come on. Boy. Probably like some of those fan fictions that oh, yeah. people put Where it's on you and Nick Grimshaw like, on a roller coaster touching awful. each other. That sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, do you want to dip back in now? Let's get another question. Oh, God, I'm scared. It's going to fall off. It'd be awful if I uh, murdered one fifth of One Direction in a it toilet. Be That'd be terrible. Would not. Good publicity for the show, though, right? Yeah. Next question. Have you ever squatted over a mirror and attempted to look at your own bottom? That was asked by Newsbeat to Peter Andre. Louis. <laughs> wow. So, so, so just go through this again. You're squatting and you're looking at your own... At your own bottom. I, I assume the bum hole. Well, it could be any aspect of your body. What, is it to make sure that you've wiped correctly? Or <laughs> Just to have a little look. I'm the question is, has anyone ever done it? Say I. No. Okay, no. no. Okay. I've never done that. But Pete I just wanted the logic by. Yeah, he just wanted to have a look. He's probably going to try it later now. Yeah. Just to see why. Peter's answer, and not just an answer that I've attributed to him, was this. He said he hadn't technically, but he did want to investigate the area with a front-facing camera on his iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Niall, let's dip in again, if you don't mind. <laughs> That was a brilliant answer. Oh, I love Peter. This is the last one. I love him. Thanks very much. He's my idol. Have you ever had a saucy dream about a celebrity? That was asked by Mr. Jam to Leona Lewis. Any ideas, guys? Oh, no, Liam's had one before. Yeah, about Leona. Liam told us about one that he... Well, oh, yeah, he came into work. Cat Slater. He was like, 
I had a dirty dream about Cat Slater from EastEnders, but I have no idea why. Who was the person? Good Lord, someone else. Cat Slater and someone else was in your dream. It was someone random. And Whittaker. It wasn't her. I think it was Dot. Well, gentlemen, thanks for joining me in the toilets. Have you got a way that you traditionally like to end an interview? Um... Oh, brilliant. As if it wasn't oh, well, dirty near are, enough uh, already. You thank you very much, Harry. Thank you. There isn't anything on the paper. Oh, you ruined it.